With winter among us and some snow and ice left on the ground, one of the last sports people might expect to be kicking off their season this weekend is a track and field team. The indoor season gets underway this weekend in Iowa City. Its coach Lane Anderson says they're excited to show local fans the potential of this year's men's and women's squads. Some guys that were a part of the program and, and certainly know what it means to, to win a conference championship. And uh, we have some goals. We haven't not necessarily talked on either side specifically about a conference championship. I think it's, it's more identifying your key people, keeping them healthy, and then competing well in the meets leading up to the conference championship. You, gotta, you have to, on the performance list, put yourself in a position to be a 100-point team as kind of the benchmark. And if you can, uh, if you can head to the conference meet with, with 100 paper points, then you, you give yourself at least a chance to do that. And so uh, that was the formula two years ago on the men's side when we won the Big Ten Championship at home. Uh, we went into the meet and, and we were a team on paper that had the kind of points that you would expect a, a championship team to have and things fell into place and um, we'll look to do the same things. And then on the women's side, uh, you know, certainly looking to, to improve significantly our point total and obviously if we improve the point total, the place, the place component takes care of itself. Uh, we've, we've been somewhere in the ballpark of where we anticipated we would be going into those meets based upon our seasonal performances, but um, we've certainly always felt like we were a much better team than, than we've shown the last couple of years, but uh, I, I would say most teams probably feel that way. They feel like come out of a conference meet and there are things they wish could have gone better, perhaps everybody except the winning team. So I think we just got to put our, our best kids out there at the end when it counts and, and have them be at, at, at or near their best. And I think if we do that with both groups, the results will be, will be favorable and we'll be excited about the way the indoor season winds down and, and then obviously we'll carry that momentum into the outdoor season and then you add a guy like Justin Austin to the mix outdoors who's not with us indoors and, and, and you know and suddenly you, you got a guy who's been the Big Ten Athlete of the Year and has individually scored 20 or 25 or 30 points between relays and individual events so uh, all of a sudden a guy like that makes, makes an outstanding team even better.